all know the PM, all know the Prime Minister of Jamaica. Declaration not certified by the Integrity Commission. When you talk about corruption in high places, the this PM and his government is the most corrupt Jamaicans have ever seen. The recent revelation of the Andrew Holness led government's decision to impose a gag order on cabinet ministers and government lawmakers from commenting on matters related to the Integrity Commission and the identity of the six parliamentarians who are under investigation. God, I and the rising legend represent for Talk Your Mind TV. If you love Talk Your Mind TV, let me arrest you. God, I God. Talk Your Mind TV, anything them say God here and anything them do God say before them even think at him, know what them think. Go on, go on, my diarted viewers and subscribers. One of the with diarted Jamaica and big up on yourself on the Saturday here, man. But you know, man, I always come with some things, you know. Well, I go make you hear something from Mad and Joe. Well, I thought you never hear him say. So, because I know enough of you never hear when him say this, it's my pleasure to make you guys hear and Joe when I say this. Never and Joe, Mad and Joe. My viewers and subscribers. You see, we will see a fight for the right, for the Jamaican people. Mad and just say we, we, we are a hero. We should be a hero. Not in so many words, but a that he must say. So you see, we will fight for the betterment of Jamaican people. Don't make these, these look mad labor, right? We have a smartphone. Come on, this check on from the mission. Good governance and better living condition for the Jamaican people. Because Mad Andrew say we we are fight for the people them for the better men for the Jamaican people. We are hero. We should never labor as no form of criminal. I don't feel like a joke. I don't know my always find some things with him, you know. Watch this. And I don't keep it to myself. Cause some next people for hear my stuff or something. Yeah. I wanna hear this. It is important that the people who started the resistance to a particular state or system of government can't be held as criminals by virtue of the laws of the very state or system of government or system of laws that we benefited from the resistance. In other words, Mr. Speaker, we have given the status of national heroes to our freedom fighters, the people who led the resistance. But yet, Mr. Speaker, we still maintain on the books by virtue of the laws that the former enslavers have rejected. We still maintain by that standard that our heroes are criminals. We could not allow that. The founders of the Jamaican state who resisted oppression could never be considered criminals for doing what was right for the formation of the Jamaican state. So my viewers and subscribers, and I gave my Dan Joe to say, at the same oppression where the people in Jamaica are resist now, and you are sent police to we'll take them from our, 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 under them bed and tell them to apologize. And the same oppression we are bringing upon the Jamaican people, they are resist now, you know, with the police die with a batter bruise them, you know. The same oppression we are talking about, it you are bringing upon the Jamaican people, them, you know, this is something wrong with them, my brother. My viewers and subscribers, I'm going to prove to you know, today, say, my Danjo, something wrong with him for true, and they need to put in a mental institution. I him just I said this to go while, you know. Now I'm going to hear him say again. Hear this. Uh, both being in government and being outside of government, leading a political party. I think the thing that is most lacking in Jamaica now is good governance. That is just critical to everything. And the main pillar of good governance is accountable leadership. Um, I think that the present government, in particular the prime minister, does not hold our agents to account. So they do as they wish and the people suffer. So you would expect from me a difference in how I administer the affairs of the country, particularly 
in holding people to account, setting targets, reviewing the targets, changing the targets as necessary, and providing sanctions for those who don't achieve and incentives to achieve even more. What you want to do is to give each minister written directives um, with sensitive timelines. So all our commitments have some timelines on them within the first 100 days, within the first year, within the first two years. So these letters are consequential and we will give to the ministers uh, effectively two and a half years to achieve the major targets and 100 days to achieve legislative targets, which is to develop legislation and bring them to Parliament. Madam Joe, say God know you believe where you just look a while. Madam Joe, say God know you believe where you just say look a while. And this is a puppet, my brother. You need to go on home now, he's a puppet. Say God know you believe where you just say look a while. My viewers and subscribers, I don't know how the Jamaican people them still asleep. Because when we get for understanding of my viewers and subscribers, there's a lot of Jamaican don't really understand nothing what take place within parliament or within the government. They don't know nothing. A lot of Jamaican don't care. And they need for care. My viewers and subscribers, my dad you couldn't believe nothing when he look a while. I must, hey, Madanjo, we just still look while, you see? Is a movie audition, I want, I, want, I want audition for a movie. It must be an audition for a movie, my brother. My viewers and subscribers, next video, you see? I want to know hear what Mark Golden say about the Prime Minister. Because I tell you, say, he not believe what I just still look while. I'm going to show you why I say, him could never believe let me just say look a while and listen to this. The recent revelation of the Andrew Holness led government's decision to impose a gag order on cabinet ministers and government lawmakers from commenting on matters related to the integrity commission and the identity of the six parliamentarians who are under investigation for illicit enrichment is both shocking and deeply concerning. The notion of creating a so-called cabinet policy to shield ministers from speaking the truth and to evade accountability is a glaring attempt to obstruct transparency and to evade responsibility among elected officials to the Jamaican people. The excuse that this policy is intended to preserve the confidentiality of cabinet deliberations is a misdirection from its true intent. In reality, it seems to be a political maneuver to shield parliamentarians from being held to account for their actions and potential wrongdoings. This is not the kind of leadership and governance that Jamaicans deserve. The very essence of democratic governance hinges on transparency, accountability, and the duty of elected officials to provide explanations to the people they serve. This so-called policy undermines these fundamental principles and erodes the trust between the government and its citizens. The People's National Party views this cabinet policy as a dangerous subversion of democratic values. It is an abuse of power at the highest level and it contradicts the ideals of open and honest governance that the Jamaican people have a right to expect from their elected representatives. The PNP's stance is in stark contrast to this approach. We have taken the responsible step of voluntarily disclosing the status of all our parliamentarians with regard to the investigation by the Integrity Commission. This demonstrates our commitment to transparency and accountability. Jamaica is watching closely, and it is evident that we are not the same. One side of the aisle will go to great lengths to deceive the Jamaican public, while the other side seeks to uphold the values that underpin a healthy and functioning democracy. The signing of the Integrity Commission's Leadership Code of Conduct is another example of this. We call upon the government to reconsider their decision, to respect the principles of transparency and accountability, and to put the interests of the Jamaican people first. Our nation deserves leadership that is open, 
honest and dedicated to serving the best interests of all citizens of Jamaica land we love. So my viewers and subscribers, I know you wouldn't ex Prime Minister of Jamaica if you say. So when I tell him to say and Joel is a senile and I believe me now. So when I tell him to say he need to put in a mental institution and I believe me now. My viewers and subscribers, the Prime Minister go off my head and lose some screw. He's a crazy guy. I want to tell me what I think, you know. Based on everything I want to hear already. I don't know what I think. But I want to hear what the GIA say. Hear this and tell me. Yeah. Yo, man, them. I me alone I realize that Jamaica has become a nation of workers. You see me? We don't have nothing for ourselves, you see me? Everybody just come and take and we don't have nothing. Imagine Jamaica have three backside companies and we don't own one. Then I'm going to tell you say your government have 49% or 50% stakes in it. But at the end, I be a brother. You cannot be a country where produce bauxite, alumina, and produce limestone, and at the same time, you don't have a school where teach your people them to mine bauxite or mine limestone and turn in a cement. You have to get a man from foreign to come run the company because your claim said the locals are incapable of doing it on them own because they never have an understanding, they never got a college fee. You see me? It's like in Africa where the gold ore is mined, it is dug in Africa, but it has to refine and process in a different country. And that's why Africa is so poor. Because they have gold, they have diamond, but at the same time, they only can dig it out the ground. They can refine it or whatever because no school is there to teach them to do it. You see me? And they tell us that Jamaica is the best place to work, live and do business and the greatest place for investors. It's the greatest place for investors to come, yes? Because when investors come in Jamaica, all of them do, I take the money, and care back at them for country. There is no investing going on. You see me? Them get people then can get people where they can work more and pay them less. You see me? And the government not do nothing for protect them but economy and them workers. So therefore the people them work and them now no fucking rights, barely any rights, barely no farmer insurance, any little fuck. You see me? Them can disrespect them, then can treat you like a shit and the government don't do nothing for back way. You see me? You walk from Barney Street to walk downtown Kingston. A chance if a black man own a building down there, the Chinese them buy out everywhere. Just a matter of time before Chinese them reach in a parliament. You see me? So, how do you have an idea, brother? Jamaica is a place. You see me? And then they must say, Yo, young people don't want to work, and the man they move towards chopping. But, if you go do one block 9 to 5 now, and if you chop, which one must seem more feasible? The chopping seem more feasible? Because if I go out here work, I sell something on the street, police are run me down. If I go out here drive taxi, but transport are run me down. You see me? If I push my car, municipal police are run me down. You see me? Metro are run me down. I beat me, I take my goods on. Brother, Jamaica, Jamaica, Jamaica soon because it's, it's already a failed state. It's just a matter of time before we start to see it. You see me? Yeah. Because, you know, in a sense, it's a 9 to 5 shit and I walk after that. If you see a black Chinese man place, the, the, the highest man we there in there is a, a, a cashier. And Miss Chin makes sure she does power, she makes one little part high up where she can look down directly in the way the cashier do. And camera turn down on the cashier. You see me? Brother, you got a bank right now with, your, with nothing other than your bird paper for seek alone. And bank now and, and a Chinese man come all the way from China with your bird paper. And you can get millions to borrow. You go down a DNG, build a shop and go down a DNG say you want some things from consignment so you can sell and give them back. And them tell you no as a black man, but at the end of the day, Chinese man go there and him get it from consignment with ease. And there are certain factors affecting that, yes, because black man pan a whole love the f We don't know the difference between liability and assets, I mean, understand that. But there are genuine black people here who are doing business, who want the help and the push from these financial societies. And them now assist with why Jamaica and Pan Pan the Verge are fucked. On a year with the GSMI viewers and subscribers, and I can't relate though. But as an Aboriginal of the land, you can't get no help. The system now gave no help. Only be a terrorist or ill and no help. Because I am not a Jamaican, I am an Aboriginal of the land. My parents them signed me up to the corporation, the company. Jamaica and make it for understand how the thing works so I denounce this Jamaican thing. I am an Aboriginal 
just remember that in a real life, I am an Aboriginal. I'm a tough fuck, you see? I want to hear when Madan just said that piece now. Listen to that piece, yeah. Well, the beauty of Jamaica is the ability for all stakeholders to make their points. So make them more vociferously than others. Uh, my job is to listen to everyone, um, respect the freedom that people have to express their views, um, to engage them, and to put in place a process where all views can contend and we eventually agree on a position. The Attorney General, the Minister of National Security, and the Minister of Justice all will, in the near future, in the sectoral debate, lay out our case, and it will be up for public debate. So, my viewers and subscribers, on a year, my danger, on a year, my danger, but just a reminder, you know, I couldn't know who I deal with, you know, I couldn't know who I'm up against, you know, I couldn't know who I don't want to lead over in this Republic Jamaica. Like, yo, I'm going to get a hold on myself, my danger sick. I go, I couldn't hear what this young man said to my danger. I'm wanting to listen to Madanja respond. I want to question on yourself if you don't want this Virginia for lead over on in a Republic of Jamaica. A family business when they want to turn it in. Juliet and him, husband and him, Pickney, and the, 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 the rest of them and their wife and Pickney. And my viewers and subscribers, I want to listen to this. I want to don't keep it to yourself. I want to share this. Because when a selfish run here, sharing is caring. And we care zero when we talk for feeling no one hurt on hear this. Good morning, Mr. Mr. Holness. Did the government seek legal advice on its decision to disengage with so-called sovereign maroons? And would the government not be derelict in refusing to finance projects in any such territories? And a companion question is um, whether the government um, finds it embarrassing that it seems that different arms of the state, that's the police and ODPEM, as we found out, um, gave, 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 gave um, approval to the, the hosting of the Maroon celebrations. So my viewers and subscribers, I hear the question, which is gentleman I asked Madan Joe, I'm going to hear Madanjo response. And anyway, Madanjo, we still want to know where you get the money from for Billa House there. We still want to know where you get the money from for Billa House there. Because when you come out and say we're still not satisfied. Because when the house is a bill of poor, like a church mouse. Broken, poor, and pauperizing like church mouse. So we still are asked the question where you get the money from for Billa House there. But anyway, my viewers and subscribers, I want to hear how Madanjo. Answer this gentleman, listen to this. And don't keep it to yourself, you know, because we're not keeping a secret around here. Your question is based on a very dangerous premise. And I said earlier that there are some threats that the average citizen looking on might think it is innocuous, it is popular, and take a liking to it. Because the discussions that are held in places that should know better does not highlight the threat. Jamaica is a unitary, sovereign state. There is no other sovereign authority in Jamaica other than the government of Jamaica. All our breaks, Madam Joe. Has something wrong with you, I'm going to tell the people them. My viewers and subscribers, I'm going to hear what I'm so you see, they are mad, my boss. I are senile. I tell the Jamaican people them for phone. Which one of them? You need to tell which one of them. You see, they are mad. I are senile. I tell the Jamaican people them for phone. Can, how can you say that? Mr. Madanjo, when you said this. Mr. Madanjo, how can you say what you just said a while and I said this at the same time? I'm going to listen again. It is important that the people who started the resistance to a particular state or system of government can't be held as criminals by virtue 
of the laws of the very state or system of government or system of laws that we benefited from the resistance. In other words, Mr. Speaker, we have given the status of national heroes to our freedom fighters, the people who led the resistance. But yet, Mr. Speaker, we still maintain on the books by virtue of the laws that the former enslavers have rejected. We still maintain by that standard that our heroes are criminals. We could not allow that. The founders of the Jamaican state who resisted oppression could never be considered criminals for doing what was right for the formation of the Jamaican I just drag on a memory and look a bit in my viewers and subscribers. So I'm going to continue here. What am I say? For sure, I said this Virginia is a very dangerous man. And I need to watch him like a mosquito and clap him when I hear this. I want that to be absolutely clear. None. And under my leadership, not one inch of Jamaica will come under any other sovereign authority. What you are asking would be another for the government of Jamaica to fund, take taxpayers' money and grant funds to fund another government. This is not a government saying they are a local government, a parish council government, which is under our constitution. Are you crazy? Really? Do you know what you're asking? So my boss, the man I must know him I ask. Now you just up, up, up praise we, we hear them. We we'll fight and die for the same cause. Are you just up praise we hear them? We we'll die for the cause. So what you talk about? You can't shake yourself. Something wrong with you? Really? In my danjo? Well, this is some more than Mark Bridge in the I'm mad out. This is the stuff of how guerrilla wars come and states break down. Madam Joe, you worry about that the wrong time. Because the part where you are good on Andrew, that type of behavior there, I got to bring the guerrilla warfare with Skira and the state break down. You never know. The part where you watch chat down, Madam Joe, I got to bring a guerrilla warfare and state break down. So who's to ever advise you? Them don't like you. Because they said, girl, go guerrilla warfare, we are, we are, we are, we are afraid of. Your behavior and the part where you are tried, it going to bring the guerrilla warfare where you are afraid of. So you need to evaluate yourself again, Mad and Joe, and wheel and come again. Because we are come with no longer work. We hear some more. Wake up, Jamaica. Don't court foolishness and problems. Wake up. People have died as a result. And you expect me to stand here as Prime Minister and fund activities that could lead to the breakdown of our state? Never. Thank you. So my viewers and subscribers, you know here, Mad and Joe. So you know the art labor, right? One officer for yourself now. Because a lot of you know, is like lamb to the slaughter. No for you attack in a standard English and sound like you don't have sense really and truly you don't have no sense only just to try to mislead the Jamaican people them by speaking in, in standard English my viewers and subscribers this man face man looking bad man gala with bad man Merlin at the because she never win a race yet you know this girl never win a race you know for Jamaica you know this girl never win a race for Jamaica, this tough man faced, man looking girl. So it look like this girl now have a problem with her man, man body structure. Like even if she have a husband, her husband not gonna like her because she have a man body. This man looking girl now, my viewers and subscribers, I run up her mouth. In time where did I run up your mouth? But take a look back at the next feature in the Olympic and see if you can win a gold medal. 
Because he does good for nothing, so. But he used to represent for Jamaica. We are for sure. We are for sure for say he used to represent Jamaica. Only thing you do a bad man, Merlin Atty. You just bad man, Merlin Atty. And bad man say you never make it in a track and field. So you come and take out the first stage and in the politics. This look a man looking girl and my viewers and subscribers. I bright herself. I run up your mouth. Go run on the track and see if you can get a gold medal. You're good for nothing, something. Oh, you're so bitter. How oh, Because you look like a man. And you now get a nice husband. You see your see, see, see family, you see your family, family line there. Thank you, Jarbone. You're tough like first time, thank you, Jarbone. I must see your toughness to bother you. You look like you're tough and have a man body. You're just vexed and ignorant. Because I could never talk to a girl who's so tough. Because a woman is normally soft and have a feminine feature. But this woman, this tough masculine gender, frustrated too, she never win a gold medal in her career. She never win nothing. I know she a MP now I go on like you somebody. You know nobody, but you never win you never do nothing for Jamaica. More than a mash up Jamaica now, you are your Prime Minister. I'm a tough I'm more to hear what this lady have to say. Hear this yeah. Don't keep it to yourself anyway. We are profoundly disappointed that we have to address the recent comments made by Minister of State, the Honorable Juliet Cuthbert, on Twitter. The utterances made by Minister Cuthbert not only sharply diverge from the values embedded in our national motto out of many one people, but also fail to meet the standard of decorum and respect expected of our nation's leaders, especially considering Ms. Cuthbert's role of overseeing citizenship matters in the Ministry of National Security. Ms. Cuthbert claimed a superior right to Jamaican land based on her skin color and referred to Mr. Golding derogatorily as Massa Mark. How far will Miss Cuthbert go? Is it that anyone a shade or two lighter than hers do not have the same claim to Jamaica even if they're born here? What lines of bigotry will she draw tomorrow when she disagrees with someone else's position? Such statements promote division rather than unity and are particularly inappropriate given Mr. Golding's heritage as a Jamaican born to a Jamaican mother in Jamaica and an English father, to a man who has dedicated his career in politics, law, and advocacy for the disabled community. This is a true embodiment of the ethos of out of many one people. It is really inconceivable to me that Minister Cuthbert, tasked with promoting national security, societal harmony, and respect and protection of all citizens, would engage in spreading hate and bigotry towards a compatriot who has significantly contributed to our nation. Such conduct, in my mind, is unbecoming of a leader, and it is imperative that she retracts her statements immediately. Miss Cuthbert is known for her profanity-laced and bitter rhetoric, and it is high time that the minister elevates her discourse to a level that genuinely reflects the dignity and spirit of her Jamaican ethos, rather than personal animosities. I'm calling on Minister Cuthbert to demonstrate her capacity to engage in debates that focus on arguments and issues rather than on personal attacks. This is an example she must set, not only for the children of Jamaica who are watching and learning from their leaders, but also for all citizens who expect and deserve a higher standard of discourse. We're calling on civil society, the prime minister, and all Jamaicans to join us in condemning these divisive and inappropriate remarks. We further urge Minister Cuthbert to issue a full retraction and a sincere apology to Mr. Golding and the nation. This here is an opportunity for her to show true leadership, 
by promoting unity and respect among our people. So, my viewers and subscribers, I'm here with this young lady have to say. Make me know what I'm thinking in the comment section. Because this man royal girl, Juliet, Donkey Jarbone, Flint, need to go try to win a gold medal because she not contribute nothing to Jamaica more than bad man Merlin Atty in real life. You see the next video? I want you to hear how Andrew and his man return the whole of Jamaica youth worthless. Jamaican government, you see? The JLP government needs to come out of Jamaica for good. Just pop up and come out of Jamaica. We don't want them as the opposition. We don't want them as none. I must some, 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 some convict. Only thing we can have them in Jamaica as is some convict. I do some life sentence. I want to hear this some outer road. Everybody come here, look a bit. The great things in the name of Imperial Majesty. Hello, world. Here the ash for the black crime. This is the outer road speaking. Hear me at the now. I'm going to treat off for the press. Me just saw a thing a while ago. Where them are going to suspend your driver's license. Anybody will get over 10 tickets. When they resume, your driver's license would be suspended. So all me now not have a driver's license left, right? And all everybody out there will get over 10 tickets already. Now I go have no driver's license left. And this is the government that want to be a president. This is the prime minister that want to be a president. You are planning to take a people driver's license now. After we go and pay our ticket as a good law abiding citizen, anybody will get over 10 tickets, your driver's license will be seized. And ah. Uh, Leading to the taxi man them. Just because you buy some JUTC bus and you want to cramp our style by any means necessary and take us off of the road. Then you feel for your JUTC bus that are running peace. Andrew Wallace, I'm making a try to stop war in a Jamaica. Andrew Wallace, I'm making a try to stop war in a Jamaica. Save your war. Andrew Wallace, when the war starts, you can't run, you know. Because the airport don't block off, you know. You can't cut class run. You think you're going to run? Remember good if you're going to run. You mad? And you always need to wake up, man. A people when I'm paid in tickets, driver's license for take away. You can't mess with the good law abiding citizen and turn them into a criminal. That's why you want to get rid of the Caribbean Court of Justice. Because they appeal people to get and show us an unfair trial. You know, get the people them. That's why you know why you the Privy Council. That the Privy Council has spit justice. But it gonna be Andrew Wallace's law. So when you say hang people hang, then Walla and them in general. Are you want to be the president? Andrew, when me hear your voice, me feel uncomfortable. As me hear your voice, so me want to turn off the TV or turn off the phone. Andrew, push your luck. Push your luck. Some of my viewers and subscribers, and I hear out of the road and say, Make me know what I think down the center of the comment section. But I really want to know what I think. But the next video now, my viewers and subscribers, I'm going to make this lady uh, explain a little bit more about the CCJ, the Caribbean Court of Justice, and how it, it, it is very beneficial to the poor youth, them, to the ghetto youth, them, where the government are going to gun them. For intimidate people for political vote. I'm going to show you, say the CCJ are going to work better in the favor of the Jamaican citizens. The only people who are not going to benefit from the CCJ is corrupted politicians. That is why they're afraid of it. Only corrupted politi politicians are afraid of the CCJ. So, you listen to this and tell me where you get from it. Here it is. 
Now we have the Privy Council as our Court of Appeal, yes. and we wanted to move to the Caribbean Court of Justice, but there was a case before the Privy Council about how we wanted to do it. We wanted to give it not the same sorts of protections that we gave the Privy Council, and so the Privy Council said, no, that's not going to work. If you're going to have a final Court of Appeal, it needs to have protections. Mm -hmm. So we didn't go ahead with it. So we have two political positions now. One that says you have to have a referendum for the people to decide. Don't require a referendum like Eastern Caribbean states, for example, need. But we also have another position that says, why go to the CCJ? We can have our own Court of Appeal here in Jamaica. I don't support that position. So now listen, my viewers and subscribers, then any Prime Minister put gag, 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 gag order for a politician member, and I must be one thief. My goal in it saying any prime any politician going to politics, the money is a damn thief. And you know, can see it a play out. You know, you know, see how a thief. Any prime minister can put gag, gag, gag order for a politician for don't talk what go on. Have to be a thief. And we, we could never want to find a quote of appeal in a Jamaica. Look where DPP do to Vibes Cartel. Hey, I want to listen some more. I open all this in the mind viewers and subscribers. I will hear some more. But some people believe that Jamaica is in the best position to have its own court of appeal. It's a difficult position to maintain since we already pay into the fund of the Caribbean Court of Justice. Mm -hmm. It's already a court we use for international matters, but the court is two types of courts. It's a domestic court and an international court, and it's an amazing invention created in the Caribbean and needs the support of Caribbean people. So who gets to go? Mm -hmm. It's only criminal, it's only capital cases, death penalty cases that are free cases that you'll have people running to come support you for free. Apart from that, you have to find a lawyer in the UK, you have to find a lawyer here to find a lawyer in the UK for you. You may or may not get a visa to get into the United Kingdom for your case. It's expensive. Access to justice is an issue that is raised here. Mm -hmm. If you can go across the Trinidad with a passport because you're part of CARICOM, you get to access justice. Mm -hmm. they so my viewers and subscribers, I hope you are listening, you know. And I understand what she has saying now. Can I watch this? If I want to keep the, the privy councils on the final court, remember I don't need visa to come to England on a court. If I, if, if I see CJ, remember I'm not part of CARICOM, as what she has said. I just need a visa on a plane fare and just go and deal with anything. Which one better for now? Because remember, them no must go on a visa. But on a CARICOM, then can't stop on the phone come come, 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 go, come a court. So I just hear what she has said. I just think about it. So I'm going to court for the best interest. And Joe on this one keep on our privy council because I'm alone and I make, I make money off of him. But the CCJ is independent and Joe is free for guard prison. But I'm going hear some more. Cases that go to the Privy Council are two kinds, death penalty and the extremely wealthy in Jamaica. Mm -hmm. When we don't have this conversation as to who benefits from not having us go to the CCJ, then we start saying, oh, it's politicians who benefit who don't want to have electoral cases quickly dealt with. It's the very important in society who don't want John Doe to be able to bring a case. Mm -hmm. There's a difficulty what the CCJ presents. You see, when you have a, ju a judgment from the Privy Council, you can always look and say, Lord, them not understand Jamaica, you know, them not really get it. Mm -hmm. But when you have a judge from a Caribbean country, and there is a Jamaican justice on the court, he wouldn't be able to preside over Jamaican cases. Okay. But there's a Jamaican justice on the court. When you have people there who understand mm -hmm. what cultural context means in for a particular case then those cases have more weight so on you will share some of my viewers and subscribers she has say with the ccj them understand the culture more because on them they will have uh, somebody from jamaican we sit over the jamaican case so when somebody who understand the culture them can get for deal with the case better and fear than some people who don't really understand nothing about the culture who just gotta do what them think. You understand what I say? So which one better for you know? The CCJ you know I get better justice. And the see with the CCJ and Johnny some go to prison. Cause Mark would not care them go to court. Cause like all the DPP are skip skip like Garley in around the Elite Six and Juliet one is a skip skip around the Elite Six. I'm a tough hear some more.
And it's much easier to get away from a president by saying they never really understand. 100% pro CCJ. I worked at the CCJ as an yes. intern there as part of the CCJ moot. I know the judges. Mm -hmm. I know what it is that we're getting into, but I also appreciate that we're doing an awful job about explaining to people mm -hmm. just how important the CCJ is and what it means. It's people like me who already believe mm -hmm. that talking to the converted is we're not doing a very good job of explaining to individuals that their rights are affected as well. Yeah. So, my viewers and subscribers, and here we share say, so I just hope say, this brings you more clarity. Power Mark Golden, really, I do phone. And how this, he might do it in the best interest of the poor Jamaican, the one that Andrew wants to send love. I love the poor. So, Mark Golden, I do this for the best interest for the Jamaican people. Where they can finally see some form of justice when they get injustice. Under the Jamaican justice system. I don't tell me what I think. I don't know no my motto. God and good road. But we clean up Jamaica. The motto never change and it will never change. The Jamaican Labour Party needs to come out of Jamaica for good. And Jamaican people just remember why Andrew only is around this republic, you see? Because him know him can't bring on a go back at the pole. And him can't teeth it because it's obvious. Peace so out, make sure you tell him, you know. Peace out, Joe, tell him, say, watch this. You can't go to the pole back with the Jamaican people, you know. And you can't teeth it, it's obvious. That is why them are run to this republic type of vibe. I want to give a band to the republic, but we said, no. We want to vote for our president. We don't want our president want to give to it. And for that to not come with the Jamaican people, for get up and rise. Love God and live. God are God. God and good road. And safe traveling at the gravel for not travel. And big up on yourself on a Saturday. Love, respect. The Dieted fans them. Big up on yourself. Dieted Jamaican. Stay large. Talk to mind TV, what you mean? The artist news, artist review, and the baddest TV channel right across the world globe. Watch this the man, talk to mind TV, watching the man, them are at up TikTok. Talk to mind TV, them are at up Facebook. Talk to mind TV, them are at up Instagram. Talk to mind TV, at up YouTube. Talk to mind TV, all over the globe. Family love, talk to mind TV, but me say a God and God. Don't subscribe to talk to mind TV and say God and God. Don't stress the like button for talk to mind TV and say God and God. And we Say God upon them. I want to start share a like. Talk your mind TV. You over there, please subscribe. Yeah, you pretty pretty. Yeah, me please. Me I beg you subscribe. Yes, and you in other city. Yeah, we I beg you like. Yeah, touch the share button.